Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at Porter Cable's new brushless 20 volt max drill driver, model number PCC607, and their impact driver, model number PCC647. Now I'm not going to get too heavy into the specs, I will overlay some graphics, so feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Let's go ahead and get started on the drill driver itself. In this kit you get the drill driver, the belt clip that is reversible from left to right, Phillips and flathead bit, two 1.5 amp hour batteries, and lastly a compact charger. Let's go ahead and look at the two batteries and the charger. Uh, the charger is very nice, small, compact. It's perfect for someone that's on the go or someone stationary that doesn't have a lot of room to dedicate to battery chargers. Simply throw it in a soft bag, throw it in a drawer, a cupboard, and it's out of the way and it doesn't take up a lot of room. The two batteries are again 1.5 amp hour. They're smaller batteries. My tactic when I was testing them and using them in my wood shop was I'd have one battery always on the charger and the other one in the drill driver. When this one died, the other one was ready to go. I'd swap them out and if I was, wasn't doing anything too strenuous and soaking up that battery too fast, I didn't have any issues with that technique. Um, two times I was drilling in some metal and uh, wore down the battery that was in the drill driver before the battery on the charger um, was charging or uh, charged fully. Now you can buy larger batteries. I know they do offer a four amp hour. So if it's something you're invested in the Porta Cables brushless 20 volt max kit and you want some larger run times for maybe a, a larger saw or, or just a, a, a larger battery in general, those are available as well. We'll review some features on this unit and then we'll go ahead and uh, discuss my overall experience. We'll start at the keyless chuck end of the drill. Um, this is a, obviously a keyless chuck, just like I said. It has a clutch mechanism that can either be switched on or off going from the red ring from the drill bit to the screw and then you can set your clutch to determine the torque uh, to activate. This drill is two speeds, um, one is slow, two is fast. And then uh, the forward and reverse button is, um, is a nice button. It's got a good register to it. It's not super easy. It's not super hard. I think it's just right. Uh, the drill is variable speed. The trigger is nice to pull. Um, it's not too hard. It's not too easy. Um, there is some rubber over mold all over the handle where you grip as well as the top and the side. So if you're on the job site, you can th put this thing down maybe on a project and it's not going to ding it up too much, if at all. Uh, the unit does have a side um, bit storage compartment for the Phillips and flathead bit that comes included. It also has a belt clip that is reversible from the left side or right side of the unit. And then the LED illuminates your work area when you pull the trigger. It also has a fuel indicator which you press and hold the button and the three bar, one or two or all three of the bars will light up indicating the status uh, battery level uh, of your battery. My first impressions of this unit are I really like the look of the unit. The three colors, uh, it just provides a really nice aesthetically pleasing uh, drill um, to look at. My experiences with this unit were solid. I've had it in my shop for about three weeks. I use, seem to use a drill driver or impact driver on a daily basis, whether it's continuous improvement in the shop, I'm assembling a project, or over at the CNC doing some CNC work. I've, this uh, drill driver nearly completed everything I threw at it. The only thing uh, was two days ago, I was drilling some half inch holes in some pipe, or excuse me, some uh, metal uh, angle iron. And the, the very end of it, it just didn't seem to have enough torque to break through that, that final um, little bit, you know, how a drill always kind of gets stuck on that. Uh, threw some other drills at it, it didn't seem to work, and threw some um, pretty high-end drills and they were able to bust it up. Whether the drills were able to do it or whether the, the you know, this drill or the other drills I put at it were the ones that, um, you know, broke that thing free uh, is yet to be seen. I really like this drill. It's very ergonomic. It's very comfortable. I would have no issues putting this drill uh, in my daily routine. If I had to pick a drill, I would have no problem picking this drill and using it day in and day out in my woodworking shop.
Next, we'll look at the impact driver model number PCC647. Uh, this kit includes the impact driver itself, a belt clip that is reversible from left to right, two 1.5 amp hour batteries, and the compact charger. Now, I've already covered the details on the battery and the charger, so we'll jump right into the features of this tool, and then we'll jump into my experiences. Um, feature, it's got rubber overmold on the handle as well as the top all around, so if, again, if you're on the job site um, or somewhere where you want to set this tool down, the risk of marring up the surface is minimized with that rubber overmold. I really, really, really like the quick chuck on this impact drill, uh, uh, impact driver, excuse me. It has like a spring-loaded um, release mechanism. So first, when you stick the bit in there, you don't have to lift, lift this collar. It's automatically going to press past the ball detents and it's going to set that bit perfectly. Then when you want to remove it, you pull on this black ring and the spring takes over and pushes the bit uh, or drill bit or whatever you have in there out which is super nice. So if you're, you're it's a, it, it promotes a one hand uh, bit change. You can hold the tool, grab it, pull it, it'll shoot it into your hand and then rotate your bit from, you know, in the other palm of your hand and then push it back in. So that's, that's really, really cool. Uh, again, this one has uh, the bit storage as well as the reversible belt loop or belt clip from the left or right hand side. I'm left handed so I have it on the right hand side of the tool which will allow me to put it on the left hand side of my body. Uh, just like the drill driver, it has a light to illuminate your work surface and then it also has the battery indicator or battery status indicator by holding down that button and it will illuminate uh, one, two or three bars to indicate the battery level. Just like the drill driver, I've had this impact driver in my daily routine for about two and a half to three weeks. Um, it has handled basically everything I've thrown at it. I will be honest, I haven't had a whole lot of large projects, but I have driven some uh, larger fasteners to test the unit and it has passed um, with nearly flying colors. Now I will say it could be a little slower than uh, some of the high-end drills, uh, but it did get the job done. I would have no issues putting this drill in my daily workshop routine. Um, it may or may not la last the test of time, uh, but it, as of right now in the short term, uh, fulfills my needs here in my woodworking shop. So the combination from the drill driver and the impact driver, uh, I have no complaints about either. I should note that uh, the chuck on the first model that I had um, failed on me. I don't know, it's, it sounded like a grinding sound that there was a burr in there or obviously something wasn't right. Uh, contacted Porter Cable, they sent me a new one which is this one. I sent them back the old one, they're going to check it out um, and hopefully it was just a defective product and not a design issue. Um, Again, I, I, these, these tools could easily fit in my woodworking shop without an issue. Uh, as far as um, putting them on a job site, I don't think they'll stand the test of time. I think these tools are gonna be marketed towards the weekend warrior, uh, the homeowner, and maybe the mild contractor that's gonna go on site. Um, but I would not have any issues putting them in my woodworking shop. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything I missed. I'll be down there to provide some feedback. Uh, check out workshopaddict.com. We'll have a blog on these. Also check out our form for further discussions on tool reviews, uh, projects and things that are going on over there. Follow us on social media for tool review updates as well as project updates. Again, I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.